Alright, what is up everybody? It has been, um, over a year now since the last time I made a, uh, homemade siren, actually. Like, completely from, like, just scrap hearts. Um, so now modified siren, it's actually just something I made. So anyways, in this video I'll be overviewing what I've made here. So let's get started. So let's just look around from the outside, just get a perspective. See, I'm sure you guys already seen the community post. Might actually be uploading this on the same day. So, I don't have a name for this yet, and I'm not selling these. Um, but anyways, what it's made up of is a metal box that I found at a thrift store for $2, which I just had to get it because I knew I could use it for something. Uh, then right here I have a horn. This is actually a megaphone horn from Western Safety. Focus. Yeah, my camera doesn't want to focus right now. I don't want to keep clicking. And then there's a red strobe up here which will be changed to a blue one. It's a Revere Xenon strobe. It's a general signaling strobe. Uh, for fire alarm signaling, in this case. Um, this is a pretty rare strobe, actually. It's mostly, it's like, Demco stuff. I think I see a spider inside. Like, small baby one. Now let's look at the back. Here's your mounting options. So, every corner, there's a screw hole, which you could just mount that. But, you can also mount it on a handy box, back box, or whatever you want to call it, or just call it a box, or outlet box, or something. and here's the wire to power it up, now, actually, this right here is actually just 12 volts, I was gonna make a, a 120 volt version, but I think it's much better as a 12 volt, because First of all, I can actually wire this to a fire alarm system. I'm just gonna have to not connect the fire panel. But yeah. I'm sorry about that, my brother is being a turd. Um. So yeah, I think we've pretty much reviewed everything from that side. Alright, so I'm now gonna go get a screwdriver so I can open this up. Alright, I could have grabbed a better screwdriver, but. This was in the shed, so why not? Sorry, my voice sounds terrible. Just ate some popped hearts. I mean, I was hungry. Alright. So this right here is what I call the pin screw. So basically it acts like as a pin. Prevents the door from opening. It also kind of tightens it down. But this right here is the tightening screw. So you don't have to take it out all the way. You just gotta move it a little. And then, this thing's kind of designed like an ACA electronic. It's basically based off a of federal signal select tone with strobe, uh, AMSCO, a security alarm bell box, and uh, ACA elect electronic 2000 or something. Anyways, I need. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. All right, so the birds are kind of going crazy over their neighbor stuff. As soon as I have this popped open, and here's what's inside. So it's actually pretty empty in here, which is a good thing, because originally I actually had a hollow in here, so they put battery in here, and all it came out was two wires for like a switcher button. This right here's actually a switch for the microphone, but I mean, I don't have a microphone right here. Um, they use wire nuts actually to see the shrink wrap thing. Um, I know there's cardboard right here. This is being used as an insulator. I don't circuit to short. This megaphone costs like $26, brand new. Um, yeah, then there's the wires. On circuit, on the PCB, so right here's the 12 volts in. Then this one right here is speaker in, which just goes into there, speaker. Um, and this right here is just for the, like, tone selection and stuff like that. And yeah, there's the wires to the strobe, and that all goes out. And yeah, once again, you can mount it on a back box or whatever you call it. So yeah, let's shut this and give it a test. Alright. 
Kimba can screw. Alright. So I'm gonna go inside the shed and set this off. I will note that this thing's extremely loud. So I think I will be putting like a hat or something shoved in the horn. So yeah, let's go ahead inside the shed. So like I mentioned, this thing takes 12 volts DC. Don't know what its AC voltage would be. So I was gonna open up security panel. Uh, this thing's meant to have battery backup, but I have to buy a whole other part for that. But you know, it was a steal for forty-five dollars. Well, actually, it was, I got fifty percent off, so it was like twenty-five. Fire alarm. All right. Well, wow, five minutes. Pretty loud. I mean, pretty long already. So. Let's look for something shoving the horn. I think I see. Yeah, here's one of the shirts I forgot to bring back inside. Um, one day we'll do a full test of this without the shirt and the horn. This thing muffles it quite a lot, but I mean, it's still pretty loud. Alright, so once that's done, we're just gonna set it. Oh, train set trying to pull down. Ugh, videos. Being all messed up now. So I'm not going to be able to <coughs> show the front of the horn. But I can show you the strobe and the siren in action. Whoops. That's pretty good for now. So yeah, um, this is the overview of my homemade siren. Thank you all for watching. Sorry the video wasn't the best. Could make a better version in the future anyways. Yeah, thank you all for watching and have a good day.